Hey folks, welcome to Minnesota Fats. I'm your host Patrick. We're going to go to Chisago City. Check out this pizza place. I don't remember the name of it offhand, but never been. We're going to try it out. As you can see, I'm dressed up in the motorcycle gear. I'm on Eve already, so Eve and I are going to go for a little ride and check this place out. So here I got my Wisconsin cheese soup. <coughs> looks pretty good. We're gonna try it out. Kind of looks like that multiple island sauce. <coughs> so here we got some onion rings. You can actually bite through it without pulling the whole onion out. Not a lot of breading. Really good. So as I was talking about the onion rings, my chicken parmesan came up. So you can kind of see the chicken there. It goes over quite a ways. Um, that's probably eight inch or so round serving. Three breadsticks. Um, yeah, we're gonna try this out. I'm hungry. This is so cheesy. It's amazing.
what a meal. Um, oh. That food was hot. It was piping hot when it came out. Um, so we're gonna kinda go in order. The soup, soup was good. Wisconsin cheese, it was nice and thick. Um, I'm not sure what all was in it. You could, when I was kinda stirring it up, you could kinda see the, uh, the chunks and the noisy vehicles. You could kinda see the uh, chunks and bits and pieces in there uh, it was real good I we'll try something different I'd, I'd probably give that soup a nine it was good I liked it because it was like I said it was thick hearty really good flavor good aftertaste it wasn't like weird um, some soups can get like that the onion rings although not really crunchy very light breading like i said when you bit into it you could you cut the onion um instead of just dragging the whole thing out then you're left with breading which me i would just eat the breading anyway i don't really care but i know some people get picky about that i'd say that was probably an eight um the it was good, it was hot, consistency was really nice. I never even added ketchup, it was good. Uh, that chicken parmesan, oh man. That was the cheesiest thing. I was. I think that was cheesier than that cheese soup. I I kid you not, well you saw it. You saw it in the video. It, it just, the, the strings and the fork, it layered up on that fork and on the bottom of the plate, you had to like rake the bottom of the plate when I was putting it in my uh, to-go box. So you can kind of see, I um, I didn't finish it. I'm kind of on a diet plan and I only eat half of what I normally have been. So it's a good thing because now I got lunch for tomorrow. That, I'm gonna say 10. Uh, that chicken Parmesan was probably the best to most recent memory um yeah i i can't even compare that with another one like at all well i got helmet hair holy cow or we'll just there <laughs> stay on topic okay a 10 on that um the service this this is a small place as you've seen when i walked in there's a gentleman that's getting married. I met him, talked with him, helped him load his food out. He ordered 30 pizzas from this place. Um, they're having like their big dinner fiasco tonight. And yeah, so, so the, the waitress, there's one gal bussing these tables, running a register, um, getting the food, taking orders. Uh, phenomenal phenomenal work uh, she knew what she was doing very sweet very patient very kind gave everybody a warning when they came in hey if you're gonna order a pizza it's gonna be a little bit because there's 30 of them ahead of you so just saying you know the, if you like chicken parmesan come out here this is by far the best um i'm trying to think of anything more to say uh i i cut it all up with a fork it was really good um the bill i gave her a pretty nice tip because like i said she's running ragged and as always you know you get a couple of the grumble people oh uh, you know jesus gonna be how long for pizza well you know dude there's 30 of them what do you expect it's not her fault it's not their fault you know so you always got to take that into consideration when you come into establishments that hey sometimes you gotta wait you know it is what it is 
But anyway, I'm going to put my helmet and gloves on, start rolling for home before it gets too dark here. Maybe if it doesn't get too dark, I'll get some pictures of the trees changing colors here. I got fall foliage going through here and it looks pretty nice. We'll see. You folks have a very wonderful week and as always, may God bless.